Well, I see we had no choice but to cut it out. Yeah, take a look at this, John. It's quite a bit of rot, especially around the hatches. Doesn't look like it was ever encapsulated. Bert, how are the stringers? Stringers are solid. That's encouraging. Well, fantastic, you made it. Hi, I'm John Graviscus. It's great to have you working around the boat with us again. This is one of our newer project boats. It's a classic Bertram 31, and what we've had to do is we've had to start the process of removing this aft deck due to rot both in the top side of the deck as well as some of the supports that are holding it up. Now what we want to do with this boat is eventually we want to kind of reconfigure things down below deck so that we can get a generator in there and possibly a water maker. In fact, we've been concentrating a lot on some below deck accessories. Come on over to another one of our project boats and I want to show you what's been going on. This is our 1976 21 foot Seabird and recently we put in an insulated fish box up forward using polyurethane foam and fiberglass. Then we showed you how to properly foam in a below deck aluminum fuel tank and then back here in this compartment, well that's where we glassed in our live well. And today on Shipshape TV, we are going to show you what we had to go through to plumb everything in. But before we can get into it, you know the drill. You see, we need to get you to spend the next 30 minutes with us. And then in exchange, with a little help from a few of my very knowledgeable friends in the marine industry, we're all going to try again and do our very best to let you in on a few more ways to make your boat ship shape. Ship shape TV, America's favorite boat improvement show.